What's going on, y'all? I don't have nothing to do today. Y'all know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cook my family's famous pork chops, cabbage, and potatoes. I'm going to cook these famous. I will be back after. Hey, Shelby, I will be back after I finish up my baby. Okay, okay, baby. Okay, y'all, I'm going to make a Canadian dish. I might as well. I've cooked this dish. So this is going to be like dinner and lunch. I'm going to eat this. I'm just... What up? Delita? What up, Miss Vicky? Yes, we back. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all this Canadian dish that my family brought over here from Canada. We brought this dish over here from Canada. Okay. So you got pork chops here, right? Okay, well, y'all gonna be like, wow, this is a good dish. You're all going to want to be um, doing this dish here. Okay, I don't need all of it, so I'm going to take this one with the bone. Get out of here, fly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use three of these pork chops. And I'm going to show y'all how to do the damn thing. Okay. <clears throat> so, you got three pork chops here. So the first thing I'm going to do is, y'all know, I need to let this window out, close this window, because a lot of the flies have came in here. Bitch ass flies. Get out of here, flies. Okay. So, I'm going to take this pork chop here. Away from the cap down. And I'm going to cut these pork chops. Just like this, y'all. Y'all gonna say, what you doing, Michael? I'm making this meal that I learned from my ancestors, okay? Want a little big like that. So you want these kind of pieces right here. Them are the pieces that we want. So, I'm gonna do it. How's everybody doing? Who up in here? Real talk will be, hey, moderators in chat. What up, Miss Vicky? What up, Shelby? What up, Delita? Come on, somebody. Cooking with Judy Caldwell, hey, are you? Order your chicken, yes. Order that chicken, butt that chicken. Say my name, say my name. And get you 15% off of uh, your order. All you gotta do is say Michael. And they'll give you 15% off. Now y'all see the, the, these pieces of pork chop? Now y'all say, Michael, what are you doing? I'm just adding this pork chop until this is a Canadian dish that my ancestors brought over here that they learned. Well, they I don't know if they learned, but I know they brought them over. Okay. All right. Now let me take this one glove off and let me wipe this table. I mean. Y'all know what? That um, 
that shepherd pie was so good. Oh my God. I'm gonna eat the oh I could eat the rest of that for lunch if I wanted to. Okay. So Okay. So now I'm gonna put that meat in there. Right? We're gonna season up this meat real good. We're gonna season each level of this. We're gonna put some pepper. Come on, somebody. Some sea salt. Okay. We're gonna put some Italian seasoning. Some Tony's Creole. Come on, somebody. Put some accent. Put some everything that's on. Put some garlic powder. Put some garlic powder in this bad boy. Put some oregano. Himalaya. Cause I like the way it I like the way it look. Look garlic herb. Hell, you add whatever you want in here. Okay, I'm looking for my steak seasoning. Oh here. And I'm gonna add a little of this steak seasoning. Okay. Okay. So now with that, we're gonna just Make sure it's on all that meat. Y'all see that? What y'all gonna say, Michael? This this doesn't take very long. It's very simple. Okay. Okay. This could this this consists of three different things. Hey, Miss Vicky in the building. Okay. Let me see what's going on here. Miss Vicky, cooking with Judy. I'm going to to let the live play while I cut my potatoes and onions for my video later. Okay, I'm gonna have to check you out, cooking with Judy. We call it well. Real talk with B, bro. Bro, this bready right here, but that chicken. Come on, somebody. But that chick. Look at this. This is. Come on. When I say it's delicious, y'all, I'm only being, I'm only keeping it real. I'm only keeping it real. Okay, so now. Now, we need some potatoes. Come on, somebody. We need some potatoes. is my potato peeler. I got like the best potato peeler in the world. cannot find my potato pillar. So I'm going to go ahead and peel y'all. Remember I told y'all I can peel a potato in eight um, things? Look. This is one stroke. Eight strokes. Look. Y'all see that? That's one stroke. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. 
Oh, see, I did it in seven strokes. Y'all see that? Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Y'all see that? Eight right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see how easy I did them strokes? Come on. You do one long stroke all the way around that way. You go down the middle here. Go down each of those sides. Y'all see that? You go again down the middle. You go down each of those sides. And the seven stroke. See? You might have to do one extra to get to the last. Now, my grandmother, let me tell y'all this. My great-grandmother and her sisters and brothers, they grew up in a... They grew up during the... They grew up, grew up during the Depression. So they were really hoarders, bad hoarders. And look, I would go to my grandmother's house and peel potatoes. She would go back through there and said, I peel out too much potatoes and peel out more potatoes. I, I never understood that. But, you know, that was my great grandmama. She had a lot of money, but she just did not play wasting anything. Baby, she had things full of condiments, everything. Okay, so now, rinse this knife off. So now, you want your potatoes to come out, because you're cooking all of this together, all of it in one pot. Okay, we're gonna cut the potatoes like that. You don't want your potatoes to be really mushy. So you wanna cut, cut them about a quarter thick. It's gonna cook with all of this stuff. So you don't want them too small because you'll end up with mushed potatoes and you don't want that. So you're going to cut them like that big. See about that big. Okay. Let me go one more here. Okay. So now we're going to mess these potatoes off. And you always keep water in your potatoes to keep them, to keep your potatoes from going brown. So you always keep them in water. Okay. So now, this is a very simple recipe, you guys. Trust me. Now, the last thing we need. So we're going to use us some, some, uh, we're going to use us some of that. Yes, we are. Okay. Now we got a cabbage here, y'all. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You want to peel back the first couple of layers off of your You know what I noticed that I've never made on here, you guys? I've never made any stuffed cabbage. Hey, love angel. Hey, baby. Regina in the building. Come on, somebody. Miss Vicky doing anything? Okay. Yeah.
Okay, so we got some lettuce there. And shout out to anybody. Look, shout out to my girl, Rock Just Living. My favorite female YouTuber of the week. People can agree to disagree. Don't y'all ever think that I have a problem with her. Please don't. I ain't even built like that. That's my girl. Um, okay, we're gonna... Matter of fact, she sent me these bowls set. Come on, somebody. All right. So... Um, Y'all know me, I just always speak my truth. So we're gonna get this cabbage in here. I'm finna rinse this cabbage off. Let me just move this out the way. How y'all doing today? I know it's been an eventful day. Thanks to everybody that supports me and my sis and everything that we do. No matter if it's working out, cooking, channels, blogging, interviewing. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys for that most definitely. So now what I have to do is, I'm just going to cut up some, some peppers. I'm going to cut up some peppers for all of them. I'm going to get a little bit of each. Judge me. Just the damn stuff. Okay, hold on, y'all. I got some okra I gotta cook. Maybe I have some okra on the side. I just want a little bit of this green. Okay, no more in here. So let's rinse this off. What's going on, my people? Miss Vicky talking. E, e keeping up with the mess. Hey, the black sheep. What's up, bro? Real talk with B. Okay, so look. Now, y'all. I don't know what, I hate when people use their um, green peppers and they don't take the membrane out here. I do not like that membrane in my, in my stuff. So I take the membrane out. Okay. So now all we're going to do is. Whoever sent me that knife, I know I say that every live that I do, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna just turn them. Put those peppers 
all those peppers and onions up in here. Y'all see that? Now we're gonna do some onions. Now, I've always showed y'all how to cut an onion, right? If you want to cut an onion right, you cut it this way a couple of times. And then you cut it this way a couple of times. Not all the way to the end. And then you go this way. Y'all see how easy that was? I'm going to do that again. You know, we, I can't, people to buy the stuff already cut up, you actually paying for the labor. Have I ever cut myself in the kitchen? Yes. One time I cut myself so bad I had to go to the doctor. I mean, to emergency. It was blood every damn way. Oh, I was a, And I cannot stand blood, y'all. I'm one of those people that I will faint if it's my own blood. Now, if I see your damn blood, I don't give a damn. If it's your motherfucking blood, okay. Because I can draw blood, but if it's my own blood, oh, my Lord. If it's my own damn blood, oh my lord, lord, lord. Okay, so y'all see this? We got peppers, onions, all that together. Okay, so look. We're basically done. We're basically motherfucking done. I mean, all we gotta do is put... This is a one-pot thing. This is good if you got a lot of children. Um, it's good if... You trying to feed somebody for real cheap. So I'm what I'm doing now. Let me show you what I'm doing now. I'm seasoning up. Because you want to season up every layer. This is the cabbage. So I'm putting some peppers in here. Pepper. I'm gonna put some tonies. Come on, we gotta season. You wanna season every layer of your food. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of sea salt in there. Okay, a little garlic. Herb. I'm going to put the rest of my soul food season in there. And one thing about one thing about uh, hold on if I can find it. One thing about cabbage is celery salt is so good on cabbage. Trust me. I always put my some on my cabbage. Okay, I'm gonna use the little garlic, oregano leaf. Come on, oregano. Come on through oregano. Some accent. Some everything stays on. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, I'm bleeding. Some uh, Goya. Come on. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just all that around, let that cabbage move around up in there, get all that cabbage together like that.
And you might have to add more seasoning as you go. Thank you, Vicky said, bless you. You might have to add more seasoning as you go, right? Okay. So now, I don't know what's more exciting to me, y'all. Assembling this or... Okay, you see this? We got potatoes. We got potatoes. Uh, but look, let me add something to this potato. I mean, to these. Let me add some sasson to my meat. Y'all know I like sasson on everything. Yeah, y'all, don't just all look just so pretty. Okay. So. Which one is bigger? I'm going to use this other bigger pot. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to use this bigger pot and then, and then I'll transfer it at the end. So look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my fire up, right? I'm going to put some olive oil in here. I'm going to put a little bacon oil and a little butter. All the, well, I'll put the butter in last. Let's see. We're going to let that heat up. And what you're going to do now, once you let it heat up, you're going to put a layer of cabbage, a layer of potatoes, a, a layer of cabbage, a layer of meat, a layer of potatoes. You will do that all the way up. And then you, you just cover, let's see. And then you cover it up and you t turn it down low, you let it simmer, simmer and it cooks all by itself. Come on, y'all, where do they do that at? Where do they do that at? Where do you get a one pot meal that cooks that easy? And then I'll be making some hot water cornbread patties to go with it. This is a Canadian dish. It doesn't have a name, but it's pork chop, cabbage, and potatoes all in one pot together. All you do is go in there every now and then and stir it, but it really cooks by itself. It's a great for a pressure cooker. It's great for a slow cooker. But um, this right here, I love doing it. So I can sit down for a minute. I need to go to the store. I don't have any cigarettes. I don't even have a drink for tonight. But don't judge me, judge yourself. The black she said, welcome, Car Carlia. Denise Crest, hey. Shabana, McDowell, I don't eat pork, though. You could use this with chicken. Uh, you could eat, eat this with lamb. What are you cooking? It's a Canadian, just feel free to support your boy if you'd like. Dallas. Come on, y'all can support, come on. Y'all saw my live, what? Mike, you sure you guys go get that? But that, yeah, make sure you guys go get that. Don't forget the mo it's movie night on the other channel tonight. Yes, Miss Vicky. Be careful with that night, bro. I, listen, I have cut myself day to day with the day days. Thanks, Miss Vicky. I thought you were going to um, email me um, day to day. I looked, I didn't see it. So, how y'all doing? So, this right here, I, I'm making turkey drumsticks. Okay, look. This particular meal has, from my, I mean, it has come down through so many generations. And so when I cook this meal, it makes me think of my great great grandmother, my great 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 grandmother, my, and their grandmothers and great great grandmothers, people that wouldn't even, I don't, would never even know anything about me. You know, my great grandmother, my great great grandmother didn't know anything about me because she passed away two years, before, well, four years. She, was, she died in 65. I was born in 69, so I never even got a chance, you know, to meet her. My great-great-grandfather, I did, but my great-grandmother and her sisters and brothers, they all made this dish. My, me, my mama, my grandmother made this, taught my grandmother. My grandmother taught my mother. My mother taught us. My sisters, I ain't never saw nobody read comments backwards. I know. I know you cooking. I mean, so I know. So look, it is so amazing that 
even my nieces and nephews know how to cook this, and I'm sure that their baby, this will go down, you know, that's what you call a legacy, that's what you call leaving something for people. Um, when I cook this, it touches my soul, it really does something to my heart because I know that my grandmother, you know, I cook this with my grandmother, my mother, my sisters who really don't really know how to cook, Philly the only one, and that's because she's on the daddy side, but the ones on my mama's side, they don't really know how to cook that much, that great. But they know how to cook this. We all, this is one dish, and it's cheap. Get you some cheap pork chops, potatoes don't come, and cabbage don't come on somebody. So, okay, I just want y'all, look, y'all may not be able to see me, but y'all can hear me. I'm going to put a layer of, y'all hear that? I'm putting a layer of cabbage. I'm just letting it just fry a little bit. Just putting a layer of this cabbage in there, right? I'm only going to do two layers. You want to get your cabbage in there. There you go. Now that you got a cabbage, now you're going to put a layer of meat. You just set your meat right in there. What? Okay. Then we're going to put a layer of these potatoes. Now the potatoes are the only thing that I did not see. Which I should have, but it'll be all right. Now we're going to put a layer of the peppers and onions. Come on, somebody. Now look, I want y'all to see the first layer. I want y'all to see this first layer. Come on, somebody. Let's see. Y'all see that first layer? That's how it looks. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do it all over here. Some more cabbage. The rest of this cabbage up in here. I'm telling y'all, try this. And I will be adding garlic to it. I should have added some, but I'll add the garlic to the top. Like I said, once again, shout out to Rock Just Living for my bowls. Okay, we're gonna put the rest of the layer of this meat in here. Now we're gonna put the rest of these potatoes. Come on, somebody. And this this does not take long at all. And then we're gonna put the rest of this. Come on, somebody. And this is a pretty, pretty colorful dish too. So now look. I'm going to, what I am going to do, I'm going to say this one, let me get another. Why do I want some okra so bad? I'm going to put a whole, almost a whole stick of butter in here because butter just gives it such a taste. There we go, y'all. Come on, somebody. Then we're gonna put a little bit of garlic in here. Okay, that is nothing but a pot full of joy right there, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. This is nothing but a pot full of joy. I just took my macaroni. Look, I just took out the rest of my thing, but look. That's nothing but a pot full of joy. Come on, somebody. We about to eat good up in here. So now, 
I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to rinse this top off. Put that top on there. Come on, somebody. Put a one minute, my people. Now, I love a good Canadian dish. Hold on. Yeah, I know y'all gonna... And this dish takes about 20, 30 minutes to really cook. I mean, to really be... It's amazing how all that stuff will cook at the same time. It's one of the most delicious dishes I've ever tasted. I thank God for my family for passing that knowledge on to me. My mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, all of them. Um, good people. Okay, how about I want a bowl of cereal so bad, though. Okay, so I'm gonna be straightening it up as I talk to you guys. Cause that's what you, that's what we have to do in this day and age, right? Come on, somebody. So I'm talking, I'm walking, but I'm gonna look at some of these comments in a minute. I'm just getting some of the, my mama said never do it. Never cook in a dirty kitchen. Never. When you finish cooking, your dishes should be washed. And I listen to everything my mama say. Well, almost every time. I didn't listen to what she said when it came to sex. I did my own thing when it came to sex. All right, y'all. We have 40 some people up in this field. We have 40 some people up in this piece. 27 likes, that's all right. Still got love for y'all. Still got love for y'all. Especially in these YouTube streets. I got love for y'all in these YouTube streets. The ones that fuck with me and the ones that don't fuck with me. Okay, I'm going to make my hot water cornbread patties towards the end because they don't take that long to do their thing. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to sit here. We're going to have us a conversation. Let's conversate. Let's conversate. Let's conversate, y'all. Okay, Vanessa Smith says, hey, Michael, what up, baby? Okay, let me see what some of y'all was saying. Make sure y'all go, you guys go get that bread and chicken. Yes, bless you, bro. Thank you, bless you, Miss Vicky. Said Blake, that's season 10. That knows of yes, it was love, Angel. Blessing you, CMA. Thank y'all. Oh, y'all so sweet, beautiful queen in the building. Miss Vicky, thumbs up the live. Feel, feel free to support your boy if you like dollar sign comedian 313. Y'all know I don't mind saying that. Love, Angel. What are you cooking? Yes, that's my family's Canadian dish. Hi, everyone. Welcome, Kalia. Um, Denise Cress. Hey, Miss Ellen. Hey, baby. I don't eat pork, though. I want to see it after it's done. Love, Angel. You will. Um, Siobhan. Hey, baby. Welcome, Denise. I'm making turkey drumsticks. Okay. I know you cooking yummy. Amen. Day to day. I ain't never saw nobody read the comments back. But yes, I do day to day. The Black Sheep. Thanks, everybody, for joining the live today. Come on, somebody. We appreciate you all for coming through. I never met my great-grandparents or my grandma. Rest in peace. I didn't either. Didn't really. You know, I was blessed to have my great... I was blessed to um, have my great-grandmother till I was 42 years old. Man, it keeps telling me address not found. Day-to-day -day is Michael Waters, W-A-T-E-R-S, Four zero at yahoo.com, my brother. Hey, Michael and Chad. How's everyone doing? Hey, lady. Hey, lady. On my dad's side. Okay. Michael Waters, 40 at yahoo.com, I believe. Yes, Miss Vicky, that's exactly it. 
I made it just in time for lunch. Oh my gosh, can't wait until I can eat a real meal. Why can't you eat a real meal yet? I think I remember, but I'm just... Um, thumbs up the live, folks. Thank you, Chalaxa with Queen T. Day to day with the day that's got it. Okay. Hey, Miss Vicky, how you doing? Chalaxa, what's Michael cooking? I missed the menu, please. Chalaxa, it's a Canadian dish for my family. Hey, Angela Blue. Hello, everybody. Miss Vicky, old family dish from Canada with pork chops, cabbage, and potato. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all see how easy this was to put this in here? When y'all try it and the way it looks, it's so fucking delicious. And to know that I'm eating something that my ancestors ate, that they passed down. You know, we don't realize what we do affects generations to come after us. My Vicky, my what CMA cooking? Should I some cooking tea? Okay, Cynthia, welcome. Okay, I see Miss Vicky laugh out loud. Sounds tasty, especially Kevin, yes. Okay, okay, you clean as you go. You have to. My mama would kick back. Did y'all see me the other day over my mama house cleaning? I said, well, let me watch this. She said, yes, it shouldn't have been a dish in that sink before you started cooking. My mama don't play that. Okay, yes, clean as you go. Yes, lady, it does. Hi, CMA. Hey, Vanessa Smith, baby. Everybody's speaking. CMA, I like to clean and cook also. Who wants to clean the kitchen after you eat? I be too full. Come on, beautiful. That's my thing, too. I'd be like, look, all I want to do is wash out the plate I'm eating out of. I even try to make as little pots as possible. Hi, love, Angel. Welcome. I have to cook and clean as I go. Yes, that's a must. That's the way I was raised. But you have to be raised like that. That don't just come. Welcome, everybody, to the live stream. Don't forget to thumbs up the live and support your boy, CMA, dollar sign, 313. Much love to y'all. Hi, Miss Becky. Vanessa says, Carl, I hope everyone is doing well. Michael, you got me hungry. I'm always hungry. Sweet reader, are you looking out the bushes or the trees? What am they, I don't know. What, what do the eyeballs mean? I'm looking. Hey, everybody. Sweet reader from Flint, baby. Flint's on. I'm eating that chicken with rice and sweet potatoes in it. It's a little spicy and it got my nose running. That will do it, Latanya. Sweet read, read and welcome. I don't get ate up. Oh, don't get ate up in the bushes. Right, Miss Vicky. Hi, Latanya Smitty. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, sweet reader. I'll try not to, Miss Vicky. I'm here. What up, Monica B? Hey, that's me. Hey, Smitty. I was raised like that, Love Angel says. I was too, Monica Brown back. Monica, if I cook, I have to clean after I am finished. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, I, you know what? That was a must. But as I told you guys that me having all sisters growing up, I never had to do dishes. I never had to wash dishes. I never really had to clean up. All I... Look, y'all. Here go my damn pillow right here in my damn face. Um, all I had to do was yard work and take out the garbage. Do the yard work, take out the garbage, which I love doing yard work. I love, you know. But I don't have any problem washing dishes. I love... What I love to do is to, to have a project and get through the project and see the beginning to the end oh my god y'all know what this is smelling this is smelling so damn good y'all but yes i never had to wash dishes it was too many women in my household for me to have to wash dishes not that it's a woman's job to wash dishes that's just you gotta realize this was in the 70s and the 80s this was in the 70s. Oh, don't I sound so old to say I was raised in the 70s? Because in 76, I was seven years old. I was seven years old in 1976. Ain't that... Oh, I feel old. I was seven years old in 1976. Uh, okay, sweet reader, Ms. Biggie said. Uh, Smitty, Smitty, I just finished deep cleaning my kitchen. Okay, I got a deep clean mind too. CMA, my favorite pass down dish is fried corn. Once I learned how to cook, it was a. Isn't that. Yes, people, y'all let me know. What is a dish, a family dish that is unlike any other family? Because we all got that dish that not too many other people know about. But, you know, you gotta. Let me tell y'all this. My great grandmother, she had two sisters and one brother. But they're. 
their mother, my great great grandmother had eighteen sisters and brothers, and the my great great grandfather had thirteen sisters and brothers. All of them fair light skin. They were Canadian, really light skin. All the darker people was us. Um. So my great grandmother came over here, and my great grandmother had two girls and two boys. Ladies, so you still young. I look. I claim that. But my great grandmother had two girls and two boys. My grandmother only had one child. My other uncle, my grandmother's brother. Now, nigga, you making me, you making me old too. I'm behind you. Okay, hey, Vanessa. So my grandmother had only my mother, and my uncle Raphael. He only had two children. But between my other aunt, my aunt Teresa, and my uncle Leslie, my grandmother, I think, got 28, 29 grandchildren. Right? And it's over 167 great-great-grandchildren. I'm the oldest great-grandson out of them 160-something. She has over 40 great-great. She has over 10 great-great-great. When she died, she only had two great-great-great. But, it, I mean, it's just a lot of us. And do you know a lot of us know this recipe, the majority of those people know the recipe. Um, you was lucky. I made a weekly dishwasher list in the boys' name. And the boys' names was on there too. They ate also and the stove, fridge, table better be clean. Really, Monica? See, I had all them sisters. My mama, maybe she saw a little sugar in my tank and she wanted me to man up. She wanted me to get out there in that yard and take out garbage and shovel. But see, my sister and them didn't have to take out the garbage. They didn't have to shovel snow. They didn't have to cut no grass. I had to do all of that. And I felt like it was only me. I wanted to share that with somebody. At least they did share their damn dish day. My hand down dish is cream cheese salad. Really, Smitty Smitty, I would love to know what those ingredients. Cream cheese salad, I've never heard of that. The time, I do not like dishes in the sink overnight, but if you live in a house with people who don't do dishes, it can be irritated. Yes, cream cheese salad, do tell Smitty. Okay, let's see. Do tell. Uh, Miss, no, nah, Miss Vicky, don't feel like that. We don't get old, honey. We had a dishwasher and never used it. You know what? We didn't have dishwashers back in the day. We didn't even have a shower. We had, we had, we lived in a house where it wasn't a shower. So I always took bath. What do y'all prefer? Do y'all prefer baths or showers? I prefer showers now. I guess because I never had, you know, I took baths all my life. I like a good soap for every now and then, a good bubble bath. I could still drop it like it's hot. Okay, Miss Vicky. One of my older brothers' name is Raphael. Laugh a lot. Yeah, I, that's my uncle name. I got a, a cousin named Raphael. You put the rush on me, but I like to know you better. Okay, the black sheep says. Black don't start. Love seven. Yeah. Do y'all prefer baths or showers? And I also want to know the hand down, what are the hand down dishes in your family that y'all just known for? Miss Vicky says she loves both. But if you could only take one for the rest of your life, what would it be? If you only could do one for the rest of your life, a shower or a bath, which one would you do? The black sheep, your seasoning to look good. Come on, somebody. Cynthia says bath. Vanessa Smith says both. I like to stand up under a shower. I love a shower. I can just stand up shower and let the water drip on me and hold my head and get all my get all my um, thoughts together. Oh, did uh, Smitty Smith will say Google the damn recipe. If y'all want to know what cream cheese salad is, Google it. And I'm going to Google it. Baths all day. Angry lesbian says baths all day. Showers are for common folk. Laugh out loud. I prefer a shower. Baths, you be sitting in dirt. <laughs> Baked mac and cheese, Carla. Oh, that's what you passed? Okay. It's been such a long time since I saw you. How long has... Oh, let me see this again. I like Beauty and the Beast. Brown says, it's been such a long time since I saw you. How long has it been? I am so glad to see you because... I really love you. You are my favorite YouTuber. YouTube friend. Bath, babe. I love the soap. Okay. Myself. Good afternoon, CMA. 
Miles and check. Good afternoon, Kendra. Angry lesbian, welcome. Bath, rinse off, and shower. Okay, Smitty, Smitty. I can't get out the tub without 911. <laughs> My handed down dishes, turkey and dresser. Come on, sweet reader. I like that. Welcome, beauty. It depends on how I feel. Okay, love angel, my baby. Welcome, Kendra B. The black sheep said, beauty and the beast, welcome, welcome. See, that's what we do over here. Welcome. Hey, my, hey, Kelly Moore, how are you? Hey, black, it's me, the happy wife life. Oh, Kendra, okay. Kendra B, hey, that's me. I'm walking to the beat so viciously. Everybody, shout out to Kendra B, a.k.a. Happy Wife Life for being YouTuber of the week. Come on, somebody. I hope y'all going over there, subscribing to her, um, getting watching her videos, getting them subscriber kind of. Tell your friend about the Happy Wife Life. Miss Vicky said, hey, Happy Wife, take a shower to wash off all that dirt, then take a bath. You shouldn't be that dirty when you get in the tub first. To me, angry lesbian, that's how I feel. I, I can get in the tub and there's no ring around the tub. Hi, Kendra Vanessa says, Mitras Nicholson says, hey, y'all. Hey, Mitras, baby. Neckbone soup was a, was good as a child. I haven't had it since I became an adult. Beautiful. That was some of your family. I love neckbone soup. Mitras, welcome. Kendra B. Welcome, everybody, to the live. Hit the like. Beautiful. Why don't you cook? Why don't you cook? You know what? I had not made. I just bought some smoked neckbone now look y'all i said i was going to do some pig feet and even though i'm doing this i still want some pig feet i need to put my pig feet on but this is gonna fill me up because see i'm so hungry i'm so hungry since i laid my black ass down i said baby can you feed me since I laid my black ass down. Okay. I cannot believe I took a church song and did that. That's why I'm going to hell, y'all. I'm going to hell in a handbasket. Okay, we got 38 people up here and 37 life. So, we have so many dishes, but one of my favorite is jambalaya, gumbo, and boudin. Boudin balls. Okay, I don't know what boudin is, but I love balls. No, I know what boudin is. Okay, okay. Make sure you guys go get that But That Chicken Breading Mix at www.butthatchicken.com and type in the code Michael. That's right, say my name. And receive your 15% off your order. Go get yours today. Thanks for it. Thanks for it. Look, I got it right here. This is spicy. I got to give me some more original. Maybe if I add some flour to this. Because I just don't like spi I don't like anything spicy. Too spicy. And this wasn't too spicy. Like, my damn sausage in here is spicy as fuck. I don't like no spicy sausages, y'all. Um, we have so many dishes, but one, okay. Hi, Mitchell's. I love neck bone soup myself. I make it, I make for all, for the fall and winter. Okay. Hello, Kendra. B, for your YouTuber of the week. Yes, hello. Hi, Carla. Thank you, Latanya. I love some neck bones, white rice, and lima. I do, too. I'm going to check out the spicy. Come on, lady. Well, I think you get them in a... I don't know how... What? I need to know. Can you order two spices if you don't want to? Can you order two originals? How do they come? What is the booty and balls? Lady, yes, me, too. I love all three, too, especially booty and balls. We like everything spicy. Never had gumbo. I love me some gumbo. Yes, Carly, that's good eating. Hi, Vanessa. You know, my sister makes some good gumbo. I, You notice I don't make gumbo. I could if I wanted. But I'm not, I don't like it that much. To like, ooh, I, I, I got to taste the, so, ooh, I want a seafood boil. Hey, Regina Stokes in the building. I, I have it to, ooh, I would love a seafood boil. Now, look, do y'all notice I have not messed with this pot? Yeah, it's just sitting there doing its thing. It smells so good. Too. Oh my god, y'all want to see it? Cause I, I think I need to. Just... Okay, look, this is what we're finna do. Let me get a. Did my did my did my shorts look like they was up in my booty? Cause they was up in my booty, y'all. 
Más sortos da pe babou. Más sortos de babou, ya. Ok, lo. Gracias. 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 Ok, so now. We're just gonna incorporate this let the bottom fall to the top fall to the bottom and bring the bottom to the top y'all see all the water it made itself along with the butter i'm telling y'all this is one of the, the best dishes And this don't take that long. Oh. Really me. I'm glad there wasn't nothing in there. Silly me. Drop my top though. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. I wish y'all could smell that. I wish y'all could smell that. Come on, somebody. Uh. Okay, hold on. What does it say? I love gumbo too much. I only make it for cold days. Now I'm about to start cooking. Carla says, uh, uh, I love, Latani says, I love gumbo too much. I only make it for cold days. What did it say? That looks, that's, that looks, is that cabbage? Yes, it is cabbage. Hey, Regina and everyone else. That wasn't in the earlier when I spoke. Okay, y'all better do that. Yes, it looks delicious. Thank you, Beauty and the Beast Brown. Looks good. Well, for hello, Vicky. Mitra says it looks good. Hello, Mitra. Hey, Black. It looks good. Is that cabbage? Yes, it is, Latina. That's cabbage. Hello, Beauty and the Beast. Yes, I am from Louisiana, so we eat a dish almost every other day. Also, Bahamia and Spanish dish. Okay. Looking good. Hey, everyone. Hello, Mitchus. Welcome, Lena. The Black Sheep says, hello, family. It's Friday. Is it Friday? Hello, kids of Sweet Reader. Hey, beauty. Yes, glad it's Friday. Come on, somebody. Hello, love, angel. Love. I knew it's a deep south thing to know about Buddha. Budin. Not too far from a start, a state over. Okay. Hello, CM. Hey, for game, for C game for life and ever. What up, Joyce, baby? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We eat a lot of fish and salad meals, tons of seafood. High beauty in the beach. Regina, I'm in Miami right now. Okay. I'm in Detroit, baby. Miss Chicken. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I want to eat some of this damn. Some of this damn. I'm going to eat just a little bit of this. Uh, I'm going to eat just a little teeny bit of this pie this um shepherd's pie i'm not even gonna warm it up that's how hungry i am yeah i'm greedy yes i'm greedy Damn 
Mike, that cabot, look all right. It don't look that good to me, bro. But that chicken, <laughs> y'all go get that butter chicken. No, okay, hi, Joy. Mike, I'm fucking pissed. I know. What's up? What's up, sis? What you pissed about? Well, come on down here and party with me. Laugh out loud. Happiness. Why are you pissed, Regina? So it's amen. Hello, Regina. What is wrong with Regina? Why are we pissed? You know, when you have somebody back and you see people do them doing them wrong, it is well. This shit has gone to a whole nother level. That's what it is. Mm. When I'm pissed, I eat. What up to Shelby, baby? Shout out to my moderators. I just want to tell y'all, I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate what y'all do, how y'all handle yourselves, how y'all conduct yourselves. Regina, everybody wants to know what's wrong with you. Says, dang, see, I mean, you make everything look good. I love them. now. The only thing I would do different about my shepherd's pie is I wouldn't add canned corn, not canned corn anymore. I hope your day gets better, Carla said, Dana. How the black suit? Regina says, I'm like, so fucking dirty. Land to put strikes on Philly Channel. I know. I know. But, I mean, I can see if it was merited or warn warranted. But, he has nothing behind that. He has nothing behind that. Do y'all see why? Y'all see can't put no strike against my channel because I don't <laughs> strike me for what? I don't have to worry about any of that. But that is the ultimate that is the ultimate sign of it don't make it make you not want to help nobody. It makes you not want to help nobody. Because if you help people and that come back to bite you in the ass. Now this person you didn't help is trying to fuck you over like that. That's just like doxer. You might as well dox somebody. Uh oh. Virginia say jealous bitch. Yes, that's true. I cannot I can't disagree with you there. That's a jealous bitch. We just said Mike, you got me hungry again. And I just ate laugh out loud. Um, the black sheep laugh and Shelby. Some families will cut you behind your back without anybody knowing about the truth later. It is sad, but that is how people can be these days because of fame and money. Yeah, I feel for my sis. It's so wrong. You know what? That's why when people say Keep your circle small and keep your friends even smaller. 
it's from it's for examples just like that. What did that woman do to you? For you to feel like you want to go and go for her channel. What did that woman do to you that made you want to go and flag a video that your ex asked her to do? That benefited you. That got you the same motherfuckers you sitting over there with. You wouldn't have known them if she had not put you on. And now you want to come back and, and hurt her for helping you? That's the part that gets me. How the fuck you gonna help hurt somebody? Try to hurt somebody for helping you. I feel for my sister so wrong. I'm back. Had to eat too. Okay, Miss Vicky. She been hurt. Fit not nothing. She been hurt for not nothing. Yes. Please come up the lives. It is what it is. You know, some people. That just shows y'all his true. That just shows y'all who he, his true character, his true dip, disposition, to who he truly is. I couldn't dare do that to somebody that has, I know that I would not be where I was at if it had not been for them helping me. Of course, there's a lot of factors, but when you said that that's the main factor, nobody knew me. Because if you had to came out on these YouTube streets by yourself, that is a hurtful feeling when someone does it like, that like a brother, you know what I'm saying? But if he, if you sit back and say, if I had a, you were already coming in these YouTube streets. You only had 27 people. That means the people in Flint was not even backing you up. And yet you, you get a platform that most people would love to, a platform with thousands of people. And then people opened up the platform to you and this is when you turn around and you do it was bad enough you went on the rampage spewing lies about her you went on different platforms lying but for you to now that's like you want to take legal action i legally put this foot in your motherfucking ass that's what i would do i would legally put my foot in your ass you got the nerves that's bitch ass move. That's snitch. You a snitch bitch. See, y'all got me started. That's a snitch bitch. About something he don't even have merit in. Bitch, you asked to be on that motherfucking live. Bitch, you got notoriety from it. Zenobi said, hey, CMA and Maj and chat. Sorry your sis had to go through this. Love both of you guys channel. Thank you. All you guys in his channel or live, don't say the fucking thing to me. I don't, you know, <laughs> you really mad at a Virginia. And I don't know. And look, if this here does not really show people that he's malicious, his true tendencies. Um, so I can see if he did that to me. Hey, good evening with Mika. I can see if he did that to me. But he did that to somebody that had nothing to do with him until he started going off on her. Carla said, I'm not even going to check for him. A lot of people not checking for him now. That was the end of, that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. If there was ever any inclination that he and I would ever speak or be cordial, that'll never happen, not in my lifetime. And the way that bitch going, and the way he operating and moving in these motherfucking streets my life my life expectancy is gonna be a lot longer than his because somebody ain't gonna go for that shit philly help him and others this is the thing she get exactly why help some you know it like puts a damper on wanting to help people uh, uh hello miss vicky good evening when mika say hello but that's i mean but that's the hello mika love angel said he was plotting the whole time don't it make you think that that's what he was doing? Even, and I'm going to tell y'all how much, even when I was stepping back from him, you know, I may say to my sister, girl, you be careful. Because I stopped fucking with him. Girl, you be careful. He going to come back. It's going to bite you in your ass. I said that. And look, look. Uh, all right, DD. Day-day. Uh, um, it really just fucks me up. It really fucks me up. 
you know, like I said, I stepped away from it. I said, hey, sis, be careful. Just, just be careful. Latari said, this is a betrayal he is going to have to live with. That for the rest of, the, of his life, he needs to repent from the bottom of his heart. Everything will work out. I hate I had to come to this. I hate it. I mean, I hate it had to come to this. Exactly. Yes, love, Angel. I'm driving home, so I'll hop back in. The chat. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Shelby, baby. Hello, Vanessa. Facts, Regina. Drive say, Bitch is jealous of her growth. Miss Vicky, you, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. What did you think you would get out of her taking a video or reporting a video that you were in that you asked her to do? She would never have to use any of your shit to do. Poor wives. If that ain't the pettiest of the petty, I'm petty. I never liked, comment, or subscribe. Cynthia, a lot of people never comment, like, or subscribe. And I'm thinking that there's going to be a backlash from this on him. Y'all, I'm really upset. This is not fucking cool. <laughs> it's going to be all right, Regina. Um, I think that there will be a backlash on this for all these people. Now, it's one thing to say I don't fuck with somebody no more. It's one thing to go on different panels. But when you fucking with somebody's channel, for real, for real, a person that if they had never helped you, you know that? If they had never really helped you, you wouldn't be in this position to even... If she had never even acknowledged your ass, you wouldn't be able to try to flag her or whatever the fuck that is. Copyright her. You copyright her on some shit that helped you. You can't get no dirtier than that. Miss Vicky, you bad? I never liked... Okay, y'all, yo, yo, I'm really upset. This is not fucking cool. A live he was in just makes no sense, really. So okay, Miss B, you were in the motherfucking live, bitch. You were in this live. And you chose to want to call her out on that one. That's like me going through every last video and seeing which ones he got me in or which one he played. He played a video in, my, in his chip clip of me. Maybe he took it down, but I, you know, that goes to show you, when he took that shit down, he knew what he wanted to do. You want to hurt her that bad? You that bad? You miss us that much, boo? You miss us that much, boo? You miss us that much, bitch? That now, if I can't beat him, I'll be hurt him. That's some shit. Um, cutthroat in these YouTube streets. Wait. Um, the time, you have to be careful with everyone. It's sad, but it's it is what it is. Today's generation. Yeah. Only a young mother, an older person would have been like, fuck that bitch. I ain't fucking with her no more. Now you want to get even? God knows all things. Come on. God knows that we helped that motherfucker. God knows that he he went rogue. What are you cooking? My, I'm cooking a family dish. It's pork chops, cabbage, and potato all mixed together in one pot. Yes, yeah, CMA, get here. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. We caressed your bitch ass. We lifted you up. Want to be white, nappy head, punk, punk bitch. <laughs> Everybody see him for what he really is. You know, when he left, it was a shock. Yeah, I went off on him about that damn video. He, the parody. And I was really just going hard. Playing, but going hard. And his feelings got so hurt. So when he came... And start talking about my sister that blindsided, that blindsided me. Because I was like, where did... Well, not really, because I saw something in his ass. I saw a bitch in the here. And that's why I pulled, pulled the fuck away. Little boys. Little boys can't hang with grown-ass men. Little boy can't even hang with a grown-ass gay man because you a bitch boy nigga. That's what the fuck you are. Y'all know what? This is almost done, y'all. This dish is almost done. See that? It didn't take it didn't take long. I'm gonna let y'all see it again. It didn't take long at all. Now I gotta make me some hot water cornbread patty. I want to look. Look how delicious that look.
Okay. He can flag my ass, sucker. <laughs> okay, y'all, I need to try to taste this. See how it tastes. I don't think too many people are going to be fucking with him too much longer. You know, that's a no-no in the uh, YouTube community. That's a no-no. Why would you do that? He, what? Y'all slept together and this is how he repays you. Miss Vicky! <laughs> oh, I just got to, he can play my ass, sucker. Can't, big Miss Vicky, I love me some Miss Vicky, y'all. It takes Miss Vicky to get a bitch together. Oh, God, I can't wait to see that play. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Hello, good evening with Mika. How are you doing? Thank you, Natalia. You have a cornbread, sure, B. Biggie, you all meet yourself. Oh my God, what y'all doing today? What what he think he'll get trying to hurt her? She done nothing but mind her own business and have fun with her supporters. Come on, shaking my head. Right, Zenobia, that cabbage looks so delicious. Listen, oh my God, it's a little spicy. Uh-oh, Michael, looks like you got some muscles now. Yeah, I got muscles all over my body. Okay, hello, Michael, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Carolyn Hunter. How are you, sweetheart? Vicky, you made me spit my water out. I know me just ain't Vicky something. Like Miss Vicky is something. I love it though. Vicky remind me of me. We'll, we'll say some shit. He's a he's a hurty scum. Yeah, he's a he's he's sorry. He's lost. He's he's lashing out. He's lashing out because somebody unadopted. We unadopted that bitch. Michael, people will turn on each other. I see it happen before. And it is scary, shocking feeling. I tell you what, I ain't gonna never turn on my sister. I don't give a damn what. If I if I did fall out and got so bad with her, like I have with other sisters, I ain't gonna really put her on blast because she's a content creator. Why would I want to mess that up? I don't get it. I don't motherfucking get it. It's just ridiculous. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to make some... Uh, Couple of hot water cornbread patties there. Cause I don't want to turn my oven on. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, babe? Babe, babe. Hey, babe. You know what I mean, babe? Watch me just cook. really don't need a egg 
You can do it without an egg, but I just like eggs and not. This is a, a this is another dish that I've learned to make for my great grandmother. I mean, my grandmother. My grandmother made the best hot water cornbread patties ever. I never remember. My mama didn't make hot water cornbread patties growing up. My grandmother did. This is what you want. Thank y'all so much for always hanging out with me. Y'all always hanging out with me. Okay, let's see. Oh, Dookie Booty. Miss Vicky's so stupid. Oh, Dookie Booty. Hello, Tyler. Love. I am doing good. Type of sad. Welcome. Yes, welcome everybody. Support the chat. Support the chat. Support the channel. What's what straight men share a room with a gay man? I'll wait. Come on, Regina still. Well, I you yeah. <coughs> Hello Swan. Left my butt off Regina. Hello, Mike. I'm feeling a little better. I'm glad you are. Hello, Zenobia. Order your chicken bready mix. Come on, somebody. Get say my name, get the fifteen percent off. Carla, Michael, have you ever tried banana cornbread or blueberry cornbread? I tried blueberry, but not banana. Hi, hood, hey, hood edition in the building. CMA, hey, Shawanda. Virginia, it's going to be all right, sis. They say karma is a bitch. I'm telling you, Virginia, he going to get it back. I know, but I'm going to ride that bitch till it is my sis. Till, till it is. My sis is hurting. I'm hurting for her. Yeah, she really, look, she's hurting not because she feel like she did something wrong. She's hurting because that'll make you feel stupid. that make you feel like a fool helping a bitch like that. And a bitch turn around and do some shit like that. Regina and Vicky, y'all better be, hey, laughing my ass off. You do have a point, Regina. Hey, Charles. Good. I am Misha. I am Misha. Just had to throw one of one in for the one time. Right, Miss Vicky? Misha's, I'm in Philadelphia all day. No bitch, no bitch over here. We're not going to be fighting in the chat, period, Miss Vicky. What makes it so bad? He's all in her video. Exactly. And if people can't see that, that's my biggest thing. If motherfuckers can't see, well, this motherfucker has blatantly, he done broke every man code, bro code, black person code, and all that. somebody it is what it is he the stupid one he the one that has burnt his bridges forever it's going to be it's going to get better Virginia facts love angel hey love angel I believe he did that on purpose fact you know what he knew what he was doing he knew what he was doing but he ain't getting out of what are you getting out of it Yes, it will work out. What goes around comes back around. Period. Yeah. Now, nigga, you better have anything you got in there. But see, I'm not even a tip for tat nigga like that when it comes to little bitch ass niggas like him. When it comes to little bitch niggas like him, I ain't on. I want to. I'm gonna talk about your ass all day. 
But I ain't finna go try to find no video that you in that I knew that I agreed to be in. That's like doxing. That's like doxing somebody. Bitch, you doxing her. And you ain't just did that on your own. Somebody told you to do that. I hate it came to this, though. I really do. Me choose, I do too. He should have just got the fuck on and left us the fuck alone. And those three wide... You know what? I ain't got nothing but time, though. I can tell I don't have nothing but time. You know, and I, I, I can say that my sister's not hurt. She's mad as fuck. She's mad as fuck that somebody she put herself out there for turn around and do some shit like this to her. I mean, it'd be all right. I, we'll, I know she'll get through it. Ain't, ain't no legal route. Baby, he would drag her through court. She would drag his ass through court. Let's see how many bitches got your back then. He just said, don't do it, Mike. That's one reason I got off the chat because I had a strange feeling about him as time wore on. I was, I get it. It kept, wait, as time went on. You know, even when Peanut had his chat, I was in there. I saw when Landon was on there. If I was such a messy person, don't y'all think I would have went on that chat then? I waited just as kindly till he got the fuck off. And then I went on there. When a person has a heart as good, a good heart like Philly Phil, it's hard to, to trust. I was continually, I will continue as sweetie with integrity. I, yeah. Y'all know, ain't no way in the world that boy, that's dirty. Anybody in their right mind know that now that there, that there that you gonna try to fuck her, get a strike on her channel? You get too many of them strikes, they will shut you down. So are you trying to get her channel shut down? You right, Big Key. What goes around comes around. He was blaming Philly for Mike, so fuck Landon. That, that was wrong. You know, you mad at my sis because I got your ass together, dummy. But, trust me, something going to happen in your life ten times worse. Watch. Be careful who you put your mouth on, especially if they don't deserve it. It's betrayal at his best. Yes, he's a bitch-ass nigga. I ain't even going to say his name, no. First of all, I've been stopped putting comedian in front of it. First of all, we've been stopped putting the comedian in front of D.L. Hendrick's name. You can't get any more slimy or low down, dirty, deceitful than that. Oh, this bitch why I want to play games. This bitch want to. This bitch want to know. You know how long my sister been in the corporate world and the lawyers and everybody that she's fucked around with and came in contact with? Does people have a backup channel just in case? We don't need a backup channel. Listen, Shelby, ain't no need for no backup channel. That bitch have no merit. He has no merit whatsoever. They can't just go off somebody's word. That shit has to be investigated. And once they see... That this motherfucker didn't put in a false, a false claim. A false claim. He used some of my shit. And like I said, I ain't that far from Flynn at all. I'm not that far from Flynn at all. He talking about goons and, oh, I know goons and all of this. How about this? Hearing this makes me sad because I love seeing man Philly Phil always, okay? Things that duck, that ducks me, folks, it fucks me up. Things that fucks me up, folks is co-signing this shit, that they shit. Yeah. They co-signed it. Yes, it will backfire, and he will get, he will get uh, struck. Yes, 
thanks everybody for joining the live thing. I don't think it should should have went that far as striking a channel. Though the back and forth, that's okay. But to try and take somebody out that wrong out that wrong period, I'm somebody. Look, and she wasn't even doing shit with him really. The motherfucker just a bitch ass nigga. He's a bitch ass nigga that has nothing going on on his channel, so he's upset. He's sad. Why you mad? Why you sad? Why you mad? Why you sad, bitch? Why you mad, bitch? Why you sad, bitch? Okay, y'all. Ooh. You know what? I'm finna call everybody in Flint I know and be like, y'all know what y'all little punk ass Flintonian, Flintonian, whatever they call themselves down there. You give Flint a bad name, bitch. I'm so glad you in Flint, Michigan and not Detroit, Michigan. We couldn't have your bitch ass down here. Do your job know that you tell me you got two businesses? Do they know you have a bridge card with a whole lot of money on it? Bitch, you got two businesses, but you got a bridge card. Come on, bitch. Bitch, I'm gonna have to expose that bitch. And normally, y'all know I ain't into expose it. I'm into clapping back. But my thing was this: Did the bitch think, think that he would take down me and my sister? Cause bitch, you went on a, you went on. Oh, I cooked some um. Pork chop, cabbage, and potatoes. I'll show you in one minute. He went on a one-man crusade across the YouTube city from street to street to street to anybody that would listen. He went to the motherfucker that dogged him and laid his ass out. But he didn't go to Heidi because he knew Heidi wasn't going to buy that shit. He didn't go to Heidi. Did she talk about who my sister was telling him See, this is what I don't get, y'all. Listen to this bullshit. He's sitting there telling my sister was telling him, oh, if you fuck with him, I ain't gonna fuck with him. If you go on this channel. But who is the only one that y'all heard on live verbally say, if you fuck with Heidi, I'm not messing with you. If she makes that cake. So, did, what, did we tell him to say that as well? Why is it y'all believe that my sister was telling him what to do, but yet y'all heard him say to her, if you make that cake with Heidi, I'm done. Come on, people. Start looking back at some shit. Stop being such so needy for motherfucking friends. Or always want to be, y'all think he the underdog. No, he's the smelly dog, but he ain't the underdog. He's the motherfucking dirty dog. He ain't the smelly, I mean, he ain't the underdog. He He's a lost dog, but he ain't the underdog. He's a dog that needs to be put down. Michael could do one, two. <laughs> I could do one, one. I know. You know what? How about this? He's a dog that needs to be put down. You know, he's a motherfucker that needs to be put down. Be taken out to the backwoods and shot like an old dirty dog that would rabies. He's a dog with rabies. He should be put down. Don't that look so good, y'all? I love a good uh, hot water cornbread patty. Okay, my stuff is done over there. I'm ready to eat. Yo, bitch ass, motherfucking bitch ass nigga, pussy ass, pussy ass, pussy foot, bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass sugar in his vein nigga. You motherfucking bitch ass. <laughs> this the same motherfucker. They want me to meet him somewhere. Why, why? Why you want me to meet you? Why you want me? Why you want to send me an Uber so you can tell on me after I whoop your ass? So you can report me? So you can try to copyright me because I copyrighted that ass, nigga? Why you want me to come fight you, bitch? I don't fight no snitches. 
I ain't gonna fight no motherfucker snitch bitch. Bitch sent an Uber for me to come down there. I get down there and beat his ass and the police right waiting on me. Cause they he knew I was gonna he'll take her ass whooping just for me to go to jail. I don't trust your little bitch snitching ass. The fuck I'm gonna fight you, bitch. I'll fight you and beat you up and then you tell on me. You the type of bitch to tell. You motherfucking tattletale. You a motherfucking tattletale, you tattletale bitch. Who did it? He did. You know, he. I bet you he's one of them kids. Who did it? He did, bitch, and it wouldn't even affect you. Why the fuck you got to tell, bitch? Shut the fuck up. Sit your ex fat ass there and shut the fuck up, you tattletaling bitch. You said tattletaling bitch. Uh, well, the fucker did look at Philly Community Pole. Beauty of the Beast, go check it out for yourself. Clap back key. I heard that. I'm mad right now, so if not coming in here, right, get the fuck out of here. Miss Vicky laughing. I'm not pulling punches today. What? CMA EWP, clap that, clap that ass really good today. Wow, unbelievable. Left my ass off. I'm weak. Hey, Shelby. What was one of his one? She didn't even know she had it in her. In her. Did she clap back today? My sister did that. Thank you all for stopping by and joining the live. Thanks, bro. Uh, just tune it back in. Who, who telling? <laughs> Michael is too funny. Thumbs up the live. I'm just being real, y'all. I'm just being. But hey, Viola. Uh, hey, Michael Chillaxon. Uh, don't fake. Don't take Philly counters, but I keep telling people that you got me cracking up. Cut it out. Leave it out. I keep telling people stop thinking my sister's this punk over. You know, I feel like she would beat the shit out of Landon. You know what? And I knew a little shit like this. She would. Oh. I do little shit like this, y'all. Look. Shit. Okay, y'all. I had to. But look, she would send him some rock town or something. And he would call me and go, Look what I got. Look what your sister sent me. And I'm like, Why is everything a motherfucking competition? Why do you. I knew she was going to send it to you, nigga. Look, he'd be like, look what your sister sent me. And then I would hold up two damn bottles and say, look, okay, but I got mine already. What are you talking about? Nigga, you will ever, never, I'm her brother, bitch. Don't even compare yourself to me. You unwanted, unadopted orphanage growing up in an orphanage-ass, bitch-ass nigga. This nigga act like he grew up in an orphanage. Look what your sister gave me. This thing will go, look what your sister gave me. And my question would be, fuck what my sister gave you. What did your sister gave, give you, bitch? You happy about what my sister gave you? What did your sister give you? Not a damn thing. That's your, they don't fuck with you like that. They don't fuck with Landon like that. I've never seen none of his family members at his motherfucking house or around him. Hell, they didn't even come see his ass in the play, bitch. And you was, I had more family members than he did. Bitch, nigga. My family, I had it on the TV downstairs. Bitch, nobody's in, the, in your motherfucking house. Your kids don't even want to be there with your ass. Bitch. Look what your sister sent me. No, motherfucker, what did your sister send you? This, you the only motherfucker I know to get up in the middle of the night and go to Taco Bell for your boy. It ain't your boy. Take a while off of that and put an extra O on it, bitch. 
That wasn't your. I said, where you going? To, oh, to Taco Bell for my boy. No, bitch, take that wire off and put another O on there. You went for your boo, bitch. Wasn't your boy, it was your boo. Bitch ass nigga. I don't like that hoe. That kind of boy can only deal with a white woman, a black woman, gather his ass, nap his head, get him together. Exactly. That kind of boy can only deal with a white woman, a black woman, gather his nappy head ass. Laugh my ass off. He was in a little rascal. Yeah, that little motherfucker. Y'all, you know what? Y'all saw it for yourself today. What type of motherfucker that bitch ass nigga is. Y'all saw that shit today. What type of punk ass bitch that little motherfucker is. Nigga. You tattletelling bitch. You be the first one they fuck. Nigga, you ever went to prison, you be the first bitch. As soon as they walk in, they gonna fuck you. As soon as you walk in, bitch, you getting fucked. As soon as you walk in, the guard gonna say, go tell other person, we got a bitch for you. We got a good one coming in here for you. The fuck? And you try to act like you hard. You try to act like you a motherfucking goon. Bitch, you ain't, you a goonie. One of the goonies, bitch. You ain't no goon. Hey, you guys. Bitch, you a goonie. You ain't no motherfucking goon. You a fucking goonie, bitch. You should have been in the movies, the Goonies. You goony ass, bitch ass nigga. Fuck that bitch ass bitch. And I'm I'm mad because I brought you to my sister. Goony ass bitch. Ooh, I want to bust that bitch in the side of his throat. I do. You gonna do some bullshit like that. That girl ain't did nothing to your punk ass. You over there with the other bitches being a bitch. Fuck all them bitches. Hey, Tristan. Okay, y'all see that? We got some, uh, that's some good, um, uh, well, that's kind of hot, so we're going to sit this over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plate. I will digress. I digress. Because the events of today have really just tripped me the fuck out. I didn't know we had snitch bitches like that. But wait a minute. You ain't even telling. You snitch it. Bitch, ain't nothing worse than a hoe that's snitching. And ain't even telling the truth when you snitch. You old, you old derelict bitch. You old little tiny dick bitch. You old little... Weeble wobble dick ass nigga. You how your dick gonna have a crook in it, bitch, and that's all your dick got a crook in it, but all you got come on, I ain't I'm glad y'all got a chance to see that this nigga's really a bitch. Okay, look y'all. I'm finna take this in there. We finna eat, y'all. We finna eat hard. That old bitch ass, punk ass, fake ass, derelict bitch. He's a derelict. He's a dumb, dumb hoe. He's a dumb, dumb hoe. He's a dumb, dumb hoe. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this plate of joy in one minute. Hold on.
Abba, Abba, Abba. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this deliciousness in a minute. Oh, it's hot. Man. I look at him. Just that say. Seven said that's my movie. Shoot that ass up. Michael Cooker like he down south. Yes, Delta Blue. Tristan, hey, bro. Love seeing me and Cook in the kitchen. Okay, Miss Vicky. Hello, Tristan. Laughing my fucking ass up. Make sure you make sure you like this. Get that butt that chicken. www butt that chicken.com. 15% off when you say Michael. Michael is cool. Go on and handle it right way. Going to ha going to handle it right way, yeah. Now, damn, I love a good curb. Come on, somebody. <laughs> I can't stop laughing in this office. Hey, you guys, the don't be. It's big. Just got here. What we cooking for lunch? Laughing my fucking ass off. Tammy Bear, welcome, welcome, Tammy Bear. Hey, Miss Vicky, Mike. Damn, all this mess got me craving a beer now. Exactly. Welcome in, everybody. Hello, the black sheep. A beer, some hard liquor, and a joint. Come on. Guess I'll eat this soup and pretend the summer Michael food. This is summer Michael Fool. Okay. Shake my head. I'm drinking a wine cooler. Shelby, I'm drinking wine. No. Okay. So look, I want y'all to see this. Come on. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all see that? Look how good this look. Can y'all see that? Don't that look so good? Look. Yeah. Don't it look so good, y'all? That's a little too much. Oh, that's too much life. That's too much motherfucker life. But I liked it. Damn, this can go from 50 down to 35 in a minute. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm just getting this shit together. Yeah, y'all, so, like I said, that was some bitch-ass shit today. Wow. I would expect a gay guy to do some shit. Well, I, I got, I, well, it's right. Okay. Damn, what was I? I wasn't even. <laughs> okay, a gay guy. Only a gay guy would pull some shit like that. Some petty uh, shit. How many have I put in here? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, y'all, why do I always do that? What did I do, y'all? Tell me, what did I do? Why didn't I? Y'all know what I did wrong? I came in here without a fucking fork, as usual.
Okay. First of all, did y'all see how easy and simple this plate was to make? Y'all see that? It's so and it's so fulfilling, y'all. Four chops, cabbage, and potatoes all together. I said, okay. Dear Lord, Father God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you right now, Father God. I thank you. I thank you for this wonderful food. I thank you for the ancestors that passed it down generation after generation, Father God, so that I'm sitting here eating something that seven, eight generations ahead of me ate. Oh, Father God, I thank you for that. Oh, Father God, what a blessing it is. Thank you for letting me be in the lineage that I'm in. Oh, Father God, I thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be brought up around strong black women, Father God, and, and strong black men. I, men. I thank you for that, Father God. I thank you that I was born in Detroit, Michigan, Father God, and not Flint, Michigan. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I just got to say thank you for that because I'm only 20 minutes away. Thank God, Father God, that my mama wasn't going down to Flint for something and went in labor with me in 69. Oh, Father God, I thank you that you allowed her to be right here in Detroit for me to be born. Father God, I thank you. Thank you also, Father God, for you allowing me to be thankful, to be grateful to know who has helped me along the way, Father God. And you, nobody has helped me greater than you, Father God. But there are some people on earth, Father God, that has showed me the way, that has paved the way, that has made it a little bit easier for me, Father God. And I want to thank you for those people. I want to thank you for those people. I want to thank you for giving me the sense, the knowledge, the wherewithal to know which coming to my help, Father God. And it comes from you. And it also comes from the people that you have created on this earth that they, you work through them, that they work on me. Oh, Father God, I thank you for that. I thank you. I thank you for my wonderful subscribers, Father God. Oh, they've been so good to me, Father God. I thank you for the subscribers that stayed here through it all. Oh, Father God, I thank you for that. I thank you for the ones that left and came back. I thank you right now, Father God, for opening up people's eyes and to show them people's true colors and who people true and what their true intentions are and who they truly truly are father god oh i know at first father god it might have seemed us if they little thing was winning but father god right now you are showing it father god you are letting them have it father god you are letting them drown themselves and i thank you father god because i know that the first shall be last and the last shall be first come on somebody i thank you lord i thank you for my wonderful parents i thank you jesus I thank you that they're strong enough that if anybody ever wants to dox them in these YouTube streets, my parents would not care. Oh, Father God, I thank you for that. I thank you for having strong parents. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for removing evil, vindictive people out of my life. Oh, Father God, it was only you that showed us who these people truly were, Father God. You made events happen in the order that they need to happen so people... Ha <laughs> come on, somebody. We'll rear their ugly heads. And for that, Father God, it was nothing but your grace and your mercy that has kept me and my sister this far in these YouTube streets. And for that, I got to say, amen, amen, amen. Come on, somebody. Oh, Michael, how can you talk about it in your prayer? You got to pray that thing away, and I'm praying that thing away right now. Come on, somebody. Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. Yes, I just cussed. Okay, since they see me, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. What you call saying in Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Come on, somebody. Y'all know me. I get to pray and I can't stop. Y'all, what's going on? I'm listening to Michael Prayer. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, somebody. Uh, let Shelby know he did uh, No, he did uh. Wait a minute. 61 in the chat listening. Go run, tell bitches. I don't give a damn. And kiss where the sun don't shine. Go on, Regina. I know that's right. We got 60 people in here and 60, 70 like. I know that's right, Regina. I'm craving a good twist movie. Y'all have to go see the movie Spirit. It's about this guy with multiple personalities but it comes with a twist at the end. It's a good, okay. Love my soul, fool. Left my ass off. Cheer, Vicky. And 
it could make it in the it could make it in the corner. I'd put it in the corner if I loud. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Come on, somebody. CMA, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can, Cynthia. And she's, y'all, what's going on? I'm listening. Okay. Um, amen. Do you still have the rug? You burn. I finally threw it away. I finally threw it away, Cynthia. Oh, you remember that rug? Cynthia is a fool. Miss Vicky, tell me how many does. Oh, we having a movie. You know what? I need to go look. No, I finally threw the rug away. I really, really did. How you gonna remember that damn rug, Cynthia? Oh my God, that is hilarious. Tell me I ain't got no day ones over here. All right, y'all. Y'all wanna see? That is funny, Cynthia. I forgot all about that damn rug. <laughs> remember, y'all, I would not throw that rug away. I still got the iron. I didn't throw the iron away. I ain't cleaned it off either because I bought a new iron. I, I, I'm kind of got some hoarder like tendencies like my grandmama, my great grandmama. Michael, you put a hurt on that shepherd pie, yum. I'm a true fan, baby. Yes, you are. Okay, y'all, look. I just want, look, y'all see that. Look at that. And it's amazing. Y'all see all of this stuff was cooked at the same time. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. What does that mean? Mike and Jimmy. Get a little bit of that potato. I'm 15 minutes away. You keep your friends close to you. You want to eat that cornbread? Yeah. Mike, when is movie night? It's tonight. You know, my sister made some shit up, and I have to follow follow it accordingly. Okay, rub it in. I'm starving. Sorry, Tammy Bear, baby. No. Mmm. Mmm. I know what I'm eating. Mm, 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 mm. This air. A Canadian dish that my family passed down from generation to generation. It's pork chops, cabbage, and potatoes all mixed together. Look, I'm good. I don't know. Let me call my sister. My sister. Let me check on my sister. Y'all had her clapping back today. My sister ain't never cussed like that. Allegedly. Wait, my sister ain't never cussed like that. Allegedly. She was saying some shit. Y'all didn't know my sister could cuss like that, did y'all? I did. Didn't shock the fuck out of me. Oh my God, y'all, this is so good. Mm. The pot everything go right to y'all. It is. Hey, sis, I'm live, right? I got 60 people in here. Why everybody tell me I, talk, I, I wrote down what you had to say to clap back? That's why you were so good today. <laughs> but, no. Look, they said, sis, they said, somebody said, 
Shit, y'all talking about Philly Phil, don't know how to clap back. Shit, PP did that today, and it wasn't no doing with her brother, y'all. No, I'm calling because I'm on live right now, and everybody keep asking me what time is movie night tonight, because they really want it. She, she said it's scheduled for 7. She's doing some running right now. So as of right now, it's still scheduled. So that's seven, your time and eight, my, I mean, eight my time? Okay. Seven, cent, I mean, seven central, eight eastern. Okay, let me get back to this live. All right, bye-bye. You know, I, I hate that, you know, my sister is such a positive person. Y'all know that. And for her to wake up to some bullshit like that, Hurt one time. Mm. That was just some bullshit today. And if this was a time to rally around somebody and show your true support because you know that that girl ain't did nothing for that bitch ass nigga to try to have her video shut down that helped his bitch hair. That's the lowest of the low, the dirtiest of the dirtiest. You's a dirty motherfucker. You's a dirty bitch ass nigga. You the type of nigga that'll suck dick and then talk about they made you the you the type of nigga that I wake up you sucking my dick and then when I like it, you gonna tell people I made you do it. Allegedly. I hate a bitch nigga like that. I hate a bitch nigga like that. I hate a bitch ass nigga like that. I hate a bitch ass. White talking. White acting. Unpopular. Bitch. This example you set for your children? See, I don't have any children, so I ain't setting an example for no motherfucking body. But you got children that run around your ass every day. Probably they hide, a dog hide, you hide. Why you keep talking about everybody else? And government fraud and all that. I just thought about that shit, you little bitch, nigga. But look, why are we shocked? Oh, you want some cornbread here? Here goes some cornbread, you guys. I got a whole lot of cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread? But you know, he's told us in all his video. When bitches start throwing the, yeah, because you know, the government, when you fraud the government, he was showing us then that he would be a snitch bitch. When you fraud the government, that was the snitch bitch shit right there. You was a little bitch snitch bitch. Y'all better not do nothing around that motherfucker. Y'all better not do nothing around. Don't tell that bitch. That's why I didn't tell that bitch too much, too much of nothing. I told him some shit to throw that bitch off. Sometimes you got to throw a dog scent off. Because that bitch was, he was snipping up our asses too much. Get the fuck, get the fuck. Why you walking up? Get the fuck off of me, bitch. Bitch nigga. And he then ran into some other hoes just as slow as him. Them a bunch of slow hoes. Y'all some slow hoes. I ain't never met a bunch of slow hoes in my life. You slow ho. Some of them bitches slow just because they physically slow. But all them bitches mentally slow. I'm telling you, bitch. Why my name? Oh, this is so good. Why my name keep being in people's beds? Because you pay for their name to be in your mouth. Why my dingo keep putting his dick in your mouth? Because you're paying them, bitch. Don't act surprised, hoes. Don't start shit and then when somebody, this is what your fuck you hoes wanted, because this would make you bitches relevant. Ain't nobody looking for y'all like that. 
Now one of you hoes have a following. Now one of you bitches that was talking in that motherfucking video that I played early. Now one of you bitches had a... Ain't nobody checking for y'all channel like that. Ain't now one of you bitches that somebody was saying, oh my God, let me go see what Chad is talking about. Oh my God, let me go see what SB talking about. Oh my God, let me go see what Lance is talking about. No, every time they pass up, they be like, oh, here go this bitch again. Here go this motherfucking motherfucker again. Fuck all y'all. And then you got a bitch over there that ain't even got a channel, but on everybody's motherfucking panel. As much as you change panels, bitch, I wish you changed your panties. I wish you changed your panties as much as you change panels, bitch. Miss Goodrich. I'm telling you, oh, I'm telling you, this bitch ass wanna be important bitches. I'm tired of these wanna be important bitches. See, they won't mess with a bigger channel. Bitch, well, why are you messing with a bigger channel, bitch? Tweedo D and Tweedo Dumb and Tweedo Fat Fuck. I just listen to all y'all right. Y'all got it. take all y'all bitches collectively to get up enough motherfucking courage to say something about your motherfucking self. It take all you bitches together collectively. And you bitches still uninterested. Y'all still uninterested with all you bitches together. Crazy dumb dumb bitches. Every time I see them bitches together, it makes me want some of them dumb, dumb suckers. Because that's what the fuck they are, some dumb, dumb suckers. Y'all some fucking dumb, dumb suckers. And Landon is the sweet, fruity sucker. You little sweet. This bitch gonna try. Bitch, you gonna go at my sister because of a video you asked her to do, bitch? That lifted your punk ass up? Bitch, right now, I declare that you gain all that weight back. Right now, I declare that you go back. That little fat boy you was, right now, I declare that you be the, a fat man. That'll get your ass. Bitch, you gonna gain all that weight back. Bitch, that's why you insecure. Bitch, that's why you you a leech. You leech on the people. You a leech. You leech on the people, bitch. But you leeched on to the right one this motherfucking time, bitch. Don't bring your ass to Detroit no more, bitch. I bet you won't do a live in Detroit, bitch. Do a live in motherfucking Detroit, bitch. And what you said, I won't say to your face. I'll say it in your motherfucking face. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I can't. Bitch, I'm so tired of this little punk-ass nigga. I, this is my last time talking about You know, I ain't talked about this in a month. I'm living my best life. You living your best bitch life. You living your best bitch life. If you gonna say it, say I'm living my best life. No, you living your best bitch life. Because you's a bitch. Any nigga that got enough time to go back and find a video that helped his bitch ass. Nigga, I hope you go to prison and they, and they fuck your walls out. I hope you go to prison, bitch, and they just... Do a run a train on you, bitch. I hope that you go to prison and you sucking dick. That's your sitting sucking dick for the rest of your life. Since you's a little bitch pussy. Since you a little pussy. You's a pussy nigga. Little pussy ass bitch. All my gay friends. All my gay friends harder than you. I All my gay friends will beat your bitch ass. My gay friends wouldn't even do no little bitch shit like that. I didn't want to say nothing, but since we mad, y'all see Landon in real life, that motherfucker got a twitch in his switch. Bitch walking around like his name, Twan. I almost called him Twan, especially when he put, who the, what straight man ride around with a motherfucking wig on in a motherfucking car? Just in case. How you gonna have a just in case wig in your car? Bitch, they ain't looking for you like that. Don't nobody know who the fuck Chip is for real, for real. You got a just in case, and he got a backup wig. Don't think that's the only wig. This bitch has several wigs. That was just the backup wig. Motherfucker, hell. I think you be wearing them motherfucking wigs even when you ain't taping, bitch. I think you wear the motherfucking wigs when your bitch ass ain't taping, you wig wearer. You's a wig wearer, bitch.
Huh. Ship is whack. Ship is whack as hell. Ship ain't, ship ain't nothing but an extension of who Landon really is and really want to be. That's who Landon really want to be. A rich white woman from the suburb. Why you think he hanging around big old fat Lulu? Hmm. Them bitches that have tea and crumpet somewhere. How, how you gonna be the baddest bitch on YouTube? I can give my money wherever the fuck I want to give it. Bitch, nobody really know you. You will always be popular in the virtual world, but bitch, in the real world, you're unwanted. Bitch, you're tainted. Don't nobody like you. Who the fuck know? Bitch, yeah, you bad at these YouTube. Oh, Lucinda can support whoever she won't. Bitch, these people, they ain't never met your ass like you. Ain't nothing you've done physically, bitch. is what you've done um, financially, bitch. I'm going to start calling, calling you financial Fiona. Financial Fiona. Financial funky Fiona. And leech and loser ass Landon. And the two doo-wop bitches. Motherfucking doo-wop bitches. I don't even listen to them hoes. I happened to get that video today. Oh, they over there. Kiki. Bitch, you hoes used to kiki right on our motherfucking channel. Every time we came in, Landon found this old fucking rundown runt. This motherfucking runt. This motherfucking, what they call that, a stray. Landon found this motherfucking straight to my aunt. She need help. He said, where the fuck you get her from? I said that. Beg me like hell to make her ass YouTuber of the week. Oh, I know she a little off. I know she crazy. Oh, but they don't. Why did everybody keep saying what Landon said? Bitch, you don't want to hear what Landon said about you. Because, bitch, you ain't got nobody else but Landon. Y'all some, y'all like Annie. Orphan Annie. All you bitches. The sun will come out tomorrow. No, the sun will never come out as long as you got Lucinda fat ass standing in the way. She's blocking the motherfucking sunshine. Sun ain't gonna never come out. Like Megan, like Megan said, they throwing jabs every other week, but it ain't. But he ain't talked about it in a month. That's the shit punk ass lying at. I, that's the shit I'm talking about. He went and they one chat to my, you know what, and this is my last time I'm talking about, bitch, you said that the last motherfucking time. And evidently you ain't through with it, bitch, because you took your punk ass and went through YouTube to try to copyright one of my sister, her motherfucking video. Her motherfucking video. Why don't you copyright your dick and add on to it, bitch, because it's small. Then. Copyright that. Just coming for her for nothing. This is what I clap back on a woman. It's for a motherfucking reason. You's a scary bitch. You scared of women too, bitch. You scared of women. That's why that nigga don't tell me, Michael. This nigga don't say to me, Michael, you ain't even all the way gay. As I'm riding his back. <laughs> I was going to say, you are a nigga. You, you all the way gay. You be all the way gay when I'm through with this bitch ass. Nah, no, I'm joking. Allegedly. You know, that motherfucker like to go legal on your ass. Love Angel said, oh, hold on. I keep thinking I'm on StreamYard. So everyone playing blind as if they don't know who the snakes have been in the garden the whole time. I saw the lie. Exactly. We didn't say facts, Megan. Them little three fucking four, whoever the fuck them hoes are over there. And then they always, and imagine them. <laughs> Do y'all notice the, they get, it, they get into it with us. And what do they run? I write to the people that I've had to either do a clapback video or the dumb bitches that follow with them. 
but the bitches that follow with them ain't got a platform that's even important. First of all, why y'all got to go on somebody else's platform? Dumb bitches. Y'all need a branding strategist. Someone to say, look, do this on your own platform. That way, you'll get like, clicks and views because isn't that what the fuck you're doing it for? I wonder how your boy's looking at you down there in Flint. Your so-called boys, because from what I hear, nobody knows you in Flint. Anytime I've asked anybody, they said, Michael, I haven't heard of him until you told me about him. Bitch, and I live all the way in Detroit, and you in Flint, and don't nobody know you? But he was so mad because me and him was that when I was down in Flint, during the play, this is before I really knew him, and I walk in, I walk in the restaurant, they asking me for autograph, they looking at him like, he wasn't even in a motherfucking play. Bitch, you'll never be me. You're striving to be me. You want to be like the gay guy in, all, in more ways than one. You want to be the gay guy in more ways than one. You get there, though. You get there, bitch. And not in a good way, motherfucker. You get there because you's a bitch nigga. I be damned. If I, if I see you, I'm slapping the shit out of you. And look, that's on GP. If I see you, I'm slapping, I'm beating your ass. That's on GP. Fuck a Uber, all of that, bitch. Don't cross my path. Because now I'm mad. Allegedly, I'm going to do that. Let me stop. The, oh, okay, y'all. This is entertainment purpose. Let me take that back. No, I will never do that to Landon. Let me retract that. Because I don't want to go to jail because a bitch is snitched. <laughs> Talking about I threatened them. But did I? I would slap you on the ass. That's, I would slap you on the ass. I will slap you on the ass if I see you. I'm slapping you on your ass. Hell, we did that on my birthday. Hell, we could do it. I, I slapped you on the ass on my birthday. You, I'll slap you on that. So it ain't. On GP, I would slap that ass. On GP, I would slap that ass again. Come here, little girl. Come here, Chip. Come here, Chip. Come here, Chip. Give me a little bit. Come here, Chip. Give me a little bit, Chip. Come here, Chip. Put that wig on, bitch. Put that wig on. Come here. Come here. Put that motherfucker. Yeah, you like this wig, you nasty little bitch. Open your mouth. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, that's how you start talking about <laughs> Oh, well, then. I'll tell you this on the news today. I sucked some dick. <laughs> oh. Okay, y'all, and let me be real. I was phony about some shit as well. When my sister really liked Chip, the character Chip, I did. I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. <laughs> and the dude said today, <laughs> bitch sounded like Woody Woodpecker with that laugh. Bitch, that was a living large. Just, that was a little large. You stole that character. You ain't come up with Chip. Oh, it cost me a lot of money to do Chip. Bitch, the hardest part, you got three different wigs. Bitch, you being yourself. And this bitch really thinks that that's a character. He did that shit downtown here. They was looking at him like he was motherfucking crazy. Go back and look at the video. I was like, somebody gonna fuck around and beat his motherfucker. I was like, Landa. Well, how are you doing there today? All right. <laughs> Those are some nice shoes you have on. Come on, what about that? I'll say this. My sir. Bitch, what the? They was like, bitch, what you fucking about? You blowing my high, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Here's this black man looking like... <laughs> I was so fucking embarrassed. I never said that, but I was embarrassed. I mean, he just walking up to a stranger. I was like, somebody about to beat his motherfucking ass. We don't do that in Detroit. You don't walk up to me with no wig on. And with a white man voice. Bitch ass nigga. 
you right, but the chip is whack as fat. That's why we laughed. The funniest chip video he had was him with my sister Kate. Was him with my sister Kate when he had the cake at the swing and at the park in the bed with the cake. <laughs> you know who, who, you know what? Landon kids don't even like him. They're not his friend. Michael said he was, I was embarrassed as fuck. I'm telling you. And they don't want him to come on a video when we be talking. And so anytime Landon would come on, it's him laying there hugged up with his dog. Who does that? Who's hugged up your dog right on you? Licking you up. Ugh. Nigga, your dog is your best friend, bitch. That nigga probably smokes some weed. The dog was like, fuck that nigga. Copyright our ass. Because he think the dog be talking. One time he had the dog on the dog was doing this. I said, like, God damn, did this the dog had to? The dog, Landon probably laid his ass there and heard that dog say, Landon, fuck Billy Phil. Why don't you go ahead and copyright that bit for her video? <laughs> I was like, you know what, you're right. Then he turned into Chip, you're right. I'm gonna copyright her. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God, this was so delicious, y'all. I'm just saying, y'all. I love Philly Phil. My sis, she's too nice and deserve, don't deserve it. Right. That's still a song, right? Just beat his ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, the movie while Kyle, well, Kyle from Living Single, yeah. Yes, ain't, ain't that the same motherfucking character? Living large. I got a video showing the two side by side. That's exactly who you is, bitch. You ain't, you ain't original. You have no originality, bitch. Your head game is the only originality you got. Cause can't nobody suck dick like you, you bitch nigga. Oh my God, no, he didn't. Next, he's going to try to profit off her video. Exactly. He could, he could, he could kiss her. Hair. I was embarrassed. I don't like his ass. He's not funny. I've never seen him on any damn. He told me he just did Detroit comedy a lot, bitch. I've never seen you on any show, and I've done all kind of comedy shows here. With niggas from Flint, bitch, and you were not one of them. Your name was never on the bill, bitch. You are a non comedian, bitch. You are an insult to the comedian community, bitch. I'm calling an emergency comedian meeting, bitch, to have you banned from even calling yourself a comedian, bitch. You are a disgrace to us, comedian, bitch. You let non-comedians let your ass have it, bitch. Bitch, you get blasted and drugged by people that ain't even a comedian, bitch. And then you cry. You cry like a little bitch. Comedians don't cry, bitch. They gather their self up. They regroup and they come back out swinging. Bitch, you tuck your tail and you go hide your head in the dirt because you's not a comedian. You are a shame to the community. Community. Comedian com community. And the LGBT. Have you ever had someone irk your nerves because they just a bitch? That's a bitch ass nigga. No, he was not at not one comedy
Like, yeah, my ex. Megan, let him have it, mate. Like your sister said, laugh a lot. You're funny as hell, laugh a lot. The people at his alternative school reunion was looking at him crazy, like, who is this unfunny guy? I felt bad for Look, <clears throat> alternative. What did you think alternative stand for? Alternative lifestyle. That's what that school stood for, alternative lifestyle. That's why he went to alternative school. I've never even watched that video. He went there because of his alternative lifestyle. You don't fuck with people's money. Thank you, Janae. Megan Day. Hello, TCG. Welcome. I bet he getting a lot of unhappy phones from these YouTube streets. Hello, Miss. Look, they don't look. He fucked up today. If he never did, you know what? He would have been better just playing it flat and smooth because people was believing his story. <clears throat> now y'all see the pettiness part of him. Now y'all see this bitch real true color. That woman ain't did nothing for you for you to go in there and flag a video that you asked her to play of yours, bitch. To get your ass monetized, bitch. Get you some watch out, bitch. Get you some subscribers, bitch. Would you have done that to a nigga? Would you have done that to a nigga in these streets? Would you have done that to a nigga? No, bitch. Box head, square forehead, bitch. I don't have no respect for you. I don't have no fucking respect for you. And evidently, you don't have none for your motherfucking self. You, you know what they calling you? You the laughing stock of these YouTube streets. You the bitch in these YouTube streets. These women looking at you like you ain't shit. A so-called straight man. A so-called straight man. Y'all saw here first, straight black man folds to black women. Can't, can't, <laughs> can't handle it, can't fuck him because the little white dick he got. Can't handle him mentally because he's from an alternative school. Shut your alternative ass up, bitch, from now on. Anytime I see your alternative bitch ass, I'm gonna cuss you the fuck out. Miss Alternative. Miss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your video flagged because you copy, bitch. You don't have a right to a copy, you. I can't believe that bitch did that. What was going through your rabbit ass mind when you even put that in there? Bitch, I'm glad you did it because now it's so who the fuck you truly are, Miss Alternative. <coughs> bitch, you would get mad at me. Mike, you ain't even look at my bitch. This bitch would beg me to look at his videos. But bitch, we all about YouTube. YouTube is our life, bitch. I hope it ain't your life, bitch, because from what I'm seeing, ain't nobody watching your shit. Not like that, bitch. And after what the shit you pulled today, bitch, I hope you go down, 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 down till you can poop the fuck out of here. Because that was a bitch-ass nigga move, bitch. The fuck with your telling snitching ass. You that main motherfucker on the first 48 hours. All they got to do is lie to you, bitch. Yeah. Well, they was over here, we did that. Yeah, I did it. You's a bitch, nigga. You's a bitch, bitch. We don't even want you in the gay community, bitch. So you just straggler. You in the motherfucking middle, bitch. You can't, don't, uh, uh get your ass from over here. We don't want you over here either, bitch. You little gay bitch. We don't want you over here, nigga. Play with your titties somewhere else. Little bitch. You little, little, Nutsack bitch, non ball having bitch, smiling like a woman bitch, soft titty bitch, wide hip woman hip bitch, tiny brain bitch, 
a lot of femininity in you, bitch. A lot of est estrogen, you estrogen having bitch. You a bitch. You a bitch in every word of the sense, of bitch. You a bitch from your toenails up to the crown of your motherfucking head. You a bitch. To the depths of your soul, you a bitch. Sitting in your backyard in front of the trampoline crying like a little bitch. Oh, I said, what is that little bitch doing? Bitch, you sitting there sounding like Robert Gibbons telling to Bob Walters on Mike Tyson. You little bitch. Mike likes to hit. Bitch, it was like I was Mike Tyson and you Robert Gibbons. Mike likes to hit. Shut your Robert Gibbons interviewing punk ass bitch up. Bitch. Motherfucker. Going from panel to panel, trying to act like I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Bitch, I wish you had on your best clothes, bitch. <laughs> Why you living your best life? Why you ain't got on your best clothes, bitch? That ain't your best life. I'm living my best life. I'm tired of bitches living their best life, but wearing their worst clothes. Bitch. I can't stand that motherfucker. I'm living my best life. I'm at Mongolian beef. Bitch, you was living your best life when Michael's beef was in your mouth, bitch. I don't like that bitch. <laughs> Unfunny bitch. Unsettled bitch. Women, you got a women hips type of bitch. Look at that one video when, I was, when he was sitting to old Michael was laying there with his legs crossed. Bitch, what straight nigga do that, bitch? Call me. You know, I ain't even gonna tell that part yet, bitch, because I'm saving some good shit for your ass. I can see, bitch, your instructor don't teach you everything. Bitch, keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with my sister, bitch, and watch how your ass get exposed, exposed. Watch how I drag the fuck out of you, bitch. I don't need no rock town to do that, bitch. Little bitch. Who's a bitch? He's a bitch. Who's a bitch? He's a bitch. Who's a bitch? He's a bitch. Who? The Flint bitch. Bitch ass nigga. Flag something else, bitch. Copyright something else, bitch, that ain't yours, bitch. We don't subscribe to your ass, bitch. We don't even look at your shit. And evidently ain't nobody else looking at it either, bitch. I can't stand that bitch. All right, y'all. I'll be calling this hoe a bitch for the rest of the night. <laughs> I just, I'll be calling this hoe a bitch. This bitch ass nigga. This I want. Bitch, one minute you, you ask somebody, somebody to fight and fight. Next minute, you want to do shit legally. Bitch, are you going to be good or bad, bitch? Are you going to be hood or are you going to be good? Bitch, are you going to do it legal or, or illegal? Bitch, I, see, you's a wishy-washy, simple, multiple personality, bitch. One minute you badass and want to fight, next minute you're crying in front of a motherfucking trampoline. Bitch, I don't know what you are. Are you the nigga that's crying in front of the trampoline or are you the motherfucker that somehow meets you some in a boxing ring, bitch? Is it a trampoline or the boxing ring? You more of a trampoline type hoe. You more of a two-two trampoline flipping and flopping. You's a flip-flopper. Oh, yeah, you like to flip over, bitch. You like to flip over. I know you're tired. You know I know you like to flip over. Oh, bitch, you a flip over. You flop your ass over in a minute. Toot your ass up in the air, you little tootin' ass bitch. Fuck. You acting hard. I bet you he won't say it in my face. I bet you I'll put it in your face. I may not say it in your face, bitch, but I bet you I'll put it. I'll put this dick in your face, bitch. <laughs> bet you he won't say it in my face. No, bitch, because I'll be too quiet. Tell me, mm, yeah, that feel good. Deeper. Put it. Look, go, go all the way down on it, bitch. 
the fuck? You badass now. But you were screaming and moaning last time, but now you's a bad bitch. Fuck you, you little bitch-ass nigga. All right, y'all. I can go on for hours with this little bitch. Bitch. <laughs> ah, you a motherfucking joke. You just played the fuck out yourself today by sitting there. Everybody know my sister ain't used your shit, bitch. And you gonna copyright her on her video? You a, not only you a bitch, you a dumb, stupid bitch. You a low-down, dirty bitch. You a uneducated bitch. You a slow, retarded bitch. You a LD bitch. You a learning disability bitch. You really must have been in your motherfucking feelings to even do that shit, bitch. But that's all right. You stay over there with them other LD bitches. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are, all you bitches. Kiss my ass. Landon did. Bitches. All right, this your boy cooking with Kamina Michael Allen. That was just a prelude to the motherfucking main event. That was just a prelude to the motherfucking main event. Bitch, you ain't even saw my main event yet. Bitch, my main event, I'ma knock you the fuck out, bitch. Oh yeah, I, I'm bad with these videos. Bitch, that was, this was nothing. This was a prelude, bitch. This was a warm up. This was an opening act, bitch. You should know. You always, you always gonna be only the opening act, bitch. Little dirty booty, bitch. Use a dirty booty bastard, bitch. Use a dirty booty, low down, babbling at the mouth, bitch. <laughs> Use a snitching, ditching, quitching queen. Ugly, bitch. All right, y'all. This your boy. I'm out. Fuck that, bitch. Peace.